The XFL and the USFL are back, but not as individuals, but as a brand new spring football league called the United Football League. This will be the first season of the UFL, which was created following the merger of the XFL and USFL, so let's check out the venues of the new spring football league. The stadium is located in San Antonio, Texas. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the San Antonio Brahmas. That team is originally from the XFL, and they have been using this stadium as their home since 2023. They broke ground on the stadium in November of 1990, and then it opened its doors on May 15th of 1993. To build the stadium, the construction cost $186 million. Now that is valued at $349 million in today's money. The stadium is also the home to the college football team, the UTSA Roadrunners, and the Alamo Bowl. The facility has a capacity of 64,000 seats. Audi Field is located in Washington, D.C. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the D.C. Defenders. The team is originally from the XFL, and they have been using this venue as their home since 2020. They broke ground on the stadium in February of 2017, and the facility had a ribbon-cutting ceremony in July of 2018. The first ever opening event held at this stadium was a Major League Soccer match between the D.C. United and the Vancouver Whitecaps in July of 2018. The construction cost for building the stadium was estimated between $400 million to $500 million. The D.C. Defenders are the only football team to play in the stadium other than professional soccer teams from MLS and NWSL. The stadium has a capacity of 20,000 seats. Choctaw Stadium is located in Arlington, Texas. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the Arlington Renegades. This team is originally from the XFL, and they have been using this venue as their home since 2020. The venue was originally built as a baseball stadium. It was the home to the Texas Rangers of MLB until 2019. They broke ground on the stadium in April of 1992. Then the venue officially opened its doors in April of 1994. The construction cost for building the stadium was $191 million. Now that's valued at $349 million in today's money. After the Texas Rangers moved out, the renovation project of the stadium switched from a baseball facility into a football and soccer facility. The stadium has a capacity for football of 25,000 seats. Ford Field is located in Detroit, Michigan. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the Michigan Panthers. The Panthers are originally a USFL team, and they have been using this venue as their home since 2023. If you are a NFL fan, you already know of Ford Field, as it's the home stadium of the Detroit Lions. They broke ground on the stadium in November of 1999. Then it opened its doors in August of 2002. The construction cost for building the stadium was $500 million. Now that's valued at $753 million in today's money. I really like the cool design feature that the stadium has used by incorporating a pre-existing building into its design. The section that they did use was originally part of a Hudson warehouse, which was constructed in the 1920s. The stadium has a capacity of 65,000. Protective Stadium is located in Birmingham, Alabama. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the Birmingham Stallions. This team is originally from the USFL and they have been using this stadium as their home since 2022. In college football, this stadium is the home to the UAB Blazers. They broke ground on the stadium in 2019. Then it opened its doors in October of 2021. The construction cost for building the stadium was $175 million. Overall, the stadium is one of the newest college football venues. The stadium has a capacity of 47,100 people. Rice Stadium is located in Houston, Texas. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the Houston Roughnecks. You may be thinking that the name Houston Roughnecks is an XFL team originally, and you are correct. As part of the merger, the Gamblers took on the identity of the XFL Houston team. They broke ground on the stadium in February of 1950. Then it officially opened its doors in September of the same year. The original construction cost for building the stadium was $3.2 million and now that's valued at $40.1 million in today's money. This stadium is also the home of the college football team, the Rice Owls. The venue has a capacity of 47,000 people. Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium is located in Memphis, Tennessee. 
In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the Memphis Showboats. The team was originally from the USFL, and they have been using this stadium as their home since 2023. This stadium used to be known as the Liberty Bowl until 2022, which the venue hosted an annual college football game called the Liberty Bowl. They broke ground on the stadium in 1963, and then it opened its doors in September of 1965. The original construction cost for building the stadium was $3.7 million. Now that's valued at $31.8 million in today's money. Since its opening, the stadium is the home of the Memphis Tigers of college football. In 1997, the venue hosted the NFL's Tennessee Oilers for one season. The stadium has a capacity of 58,325 people. The Dome at America Center is located in St. Louis, Missouri. In the UFL, this stadium will be used by the St. Louis Battlehawks. This team is originally from the XFL, and they have been using this venue as their home since 2020. They broke ground on the stadium in July of 1992. Then the stadium officially opened its doors in November of 1995. The construction cost for building the stadium was $280 million. Now that's valued at $498 million in today's money. The St. Louis Battlehawks are the first professional football team to use the stadium since the St. Louis Rams departed after the 2015 NFL season. The stadium has a capacity of 67,277 people. So those are the eight stadiums of the UFL this season. Which stadium was your favorite? Let me know in the comment area. If you're new, please consider subscribing and also hit that notification bell. And if you love sports, this is definitely the place for you. And also share this video with more sports fans. For more American football videos, please click up here. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Nathan, and I'll see you guys all next time. Just keep loving sports.